Ready and action! Your heart's beating and you're actually in this situation. You get something very genuine that you couldn't have planned. You'll actually compose shots that if we were on a green screen set, you just wouldn't have known were available. The pressure's so high. Like, we're making a film that's right touching my favourite movie of all time. But then if you're too respectful of it, that you dare not do anything new or different, or take a risk, then what do you bring into the table? Next week, really where a film crew like this really comes into their own. That kid, when you were four years old, grew up with Star Wars figures. It's a bit like just being that kid again. You're sort of going like, ar, ar, ar. <laughs> May the force be with us. What's up, guys? It's Dan here. Two, three. And it's December the 30th. Hope you had a good Christmas. And um, today we want to talk about Star Wars. Especially um, Rogue One. Well, yep. specifically Rogue One. Uh, but first of all, I just want to say... Um, Obviously, this week has been some sad news. Carrie Fisher and her mother, Debbie Reynolds, both passed away. Um, so thoughts with their family. And obviously, it's a sad time for the fans out there. So, um, you know, she will be missed. She will be missed. Yeah. And she was actually 19 when she starred in A New Hope. Really? really? I don't know if you knew that, yeah. 19? 19. 19. I've got to say, she did look a bit older. She looked older, older yeah. yeah. but she yeah. older yeah. So she spent most of her life in the Star Wars franchise. So, yeah. And uh, yeah, she's going to be in episode 8 as well. What, like digitally? No, she's finished filming. they finished filming? Yeah. Oh, I thought yeah. they were going to do that um, kind of Paul Walker thing where they that was weird. kind of animated yeah, no, most of them. Yeah, I think they finished all the filming. Yeah. Fair enough. Can we start talking about Rogue One? Uh, yeah, let's, let's, <laughs> you want to get straight into it. Let's just get straight into it. So, you know. Um, you see... Near the end, mm. where Carrie Fisher was, um, was, it, what was it called? CGI? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, right, yeah, yeah. 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 Was that the, near the time she did they add that on, like later on? Or? No, it's because at that time, as you said, she would have been young. So yeah. Mm. They would have had to, or she would have been old. Can't just put me for it? No, no, no. You have to, you'd have to CGI. You'd have to CGI that. <laughs> <laughs> I, went to see, I went to see Rogue One yesterday. No, I didn't see it yesterday. I saw it on Wednesday. So Rogue One on Wednesday, um, and you guys saw it last week, didn't you? Yeah, about last week. Yeah. yeah. So what did, what did you think of it? I let Craig speak first, cause Me? yeah. Um. I might go on a little run. It was alright. It was just average, I guess. Mm-hmm. But I mean, you 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 saw like you have a fresh memory of it. Yeah, I'm I'm, <laughs> so. I'm gonna get into it, but <laughs> like you know, what what did you like? What was your favorite parts? What didn't you like about it? <laughs> favorite part. Um, we all know what our favorite part was. Everyone's <laughs> the world's favorite part. I guess the end. The end. The end. Yeah. Just at the end. I mean, there was a part when you see when um, what's it? Is it Cassian? Yeah. 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 Cassian. Cassian. Yeah. yeah. You see when he's meeting that spy guy. Mm, yeah. And then just ends up just murdering him as if like to protect. Information. Hmm. I thought that was pretty good. Okay. So he actually, because I didn't actually, I thought it was a stormtrooper that shot him. No. But it was actually him. Yeah. Shot. Oh, okay. Because stormtroopers hmm. weren't even there yet. That's why he kind That's of. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking they were kind of far away to shoot him like yeah. that. <laughs> but yeah, I didn't actually 
catch that. Okay. Cool. There's a lot of hype built around it because you know everyone loved Force Awakens when it came out, and then slowly everyone was like, Force Awakens sucked. It's just a remake of the other ones. It's just different characters and a worse storyline. And yeah, that might be true, but this one's even worse because, like, they they built up such a hype around it. Uh, you know, Rogue One. What the, what does that mean? She's a rogue. Is she part of the dark side or is she the light side? The first minute into the movie, you can see she's light. Uh, spoiler alert: Her father uh, got taken by um, um, the dark side, yeah, yeah. Yeah. and um, forced to work for them. He obviously made the plans for the Death Star. You're not gonna be uh, going to the dark side after just kidnapped your family and what, did they kill the mum as well? I'm sure they, they killed did. the mum. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. first of all, the way they promoted the movie that was just stupid because she was just clearly mm. just either looking out for herself or on the, on the side of the rebels. Um, and yeah, like, it's just, the, the story just kind of, it was just weak. Like, they just all came together for, like, randomly. Like, mm. there was no no real meaning behind it. Mm. Like, Donnie Yen and what was that other guy called? Okay, uh, what, his um, friend? Yeah. Babe. Yeah, like, they were, just, they were just there. Then all of a sudden, like, yeah, we'll come along with you guys now. Like, no, like, it was just, <laughs> I, no, I just, no, no, Darth Vader was the best part of the movie, we all know that, just to say it, just say it, Craig, say it, say it. Best part of the movie. Darth Vader making puns, <laughs> don't choke on your aspirations. <laughs> I actually didn't have a problem with it. Why? I didn't have a problem with it, like, I thought it was, it worked for the scene. I, I, think, that's, I think that's the sort of thing he would say, I'm sure he says something like that in the other movies and stuff. Mm-hmm. In the old movies, the original movies. Um, but yeah, like, yeah, is that it then? Yeah. Apart from, uh, apart from uh, Darth Vader? No, you... I, I did like the movie, but yeah, that was my favorite part. Yeah. My favorite part of the movie is the scene when the city is um, exposed with the dragon. Mm. Yeah. And the, the way of the sort of waves of destruction. Yeah. Yeah. And then everybody's running out and everything. And then Frosty was sort of like, Nah, I'm gonna stay. <laughs> it was like, yeah, I thought my poor getting paid. Because he had nothing else to do. <laughs> they tried to make it captain goes down with the shit, but no, it's, nah, he, he had just shot. See, that's, the shot. yeah, and it was, it was ridiculous. I think he, was, as he said, he was tired of running. <laughs> it's not running; it's saving your life to fight another day. Like, that's not running. Um, no, I, 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 I obviously, you probably can guess. I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I, thought it was a, I thought it was a good movie. I wouldn't say it's the best Star Wars movie. I, I thought it was a good movie. Um, Better than Force Awakens? I don't think so. Mm. I didn't love Force Awakens, but I, I don't yeah. think so. Do you think it's they're on the same level? I would say no, on the same Force level. Force Awakens is just a bit better. Yeah, I, I would put it on the same level. There were, there were things about the Force Awakens that I liked. I didn't really like Kylo Ren that much. I thought a lot of people hyped him up a bit. And no, he wasn't. Yeah, yeah. No, he, he was cool at first, and then once he took off the mask, he was like, oh. Yeah, it was, it was just like he was just acted a bit too, know, too weak. Yeah. Mm. So I didn't really Got latch on to that aspect. Yeah. He never even held a lightsaber in her life. Yeah, I didn't really like it that for those aspects, but the other parts I thought was kind of cool. <laughs> Same thing with Rogue One. I would say the beginning half of the movie, because I think they're trying to get all the characters like. To make you feel connected. Well, not even so much connected, but to try and like sort of say, okay, this is this character, this is this character, and it just jumps about all over the place. Yeah. It just felt a little bit messy and it didn't really click well together. But once they get together, I thought the movie was actually it worked you don't pretty think well. It got boring when they just kept shooting up. Nah, because I mean that's what Star Wars is like. Isn't it? Star Wars is, but at least there's like you know there's there's talks in between. When I was watching that one, it was just. I was watching it, and after about 10 minutes, I was just like, I've been watching the same, it felt like they was looping the same scenes over and over again, like, one, one uh, ship blew up, another ship blew up, looping, looping, mm. looping. What am I watching? Like, you, after I saw them get the plans of mm. Darth Vader, and they, they got the plans, after that, it was just like, okay, now what? I just got to wait till they die, and then they died, and I was like, okay. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, but you know they're gonna die, though. I mean, it's it sets it up. Like, when I watched it, I was kind of excited to, go back and watch A New Hope again. Mm. That's that's what I think made it such a good movie for me because I was kind of like, all right, like I actually want to go back and watch the original movies now. Yeah, because it's sort of set up. The rogues, did they? And yeah, they do. Did they? Yeah. Return, uh, New Hope. Yeah. That's the, the whole point of A New Hope was 
or should I say, of Rogue One, was to fill in the blanks of A New Hope, because A New Hope just starts with a battle scene. Yeah. And it's like, we've got these plans from the Rebels, from the Rebel Alliance, but no one knows about the Rebel Alliance. So it's like, this fills in that blank, and it's like, you know, Fair enough. move on to the next movie. So that's what I liked about it. It was kind of, it made me feel excited to go back and watch Star Wars again. Okay, not me. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I would say, like a lot of people are talking about the CGI, yeah. and um, with obviously Grand Moff Tarkin. Um, it was weird. It was, like, I mean, before I went to watch it, I kind of thought there was going to be loads of like CGI problems. Yeah. But it was just that one thing. And it, yeah, it did look a it bit weird. It pulled you out the movie. I mean, it did. It was like watching a computer game. Sort of yeah. Thing. I was like, <laughs> And, um, I don't like that. Got like a lookalike and having to stand far away. But or I, I think like to look like a back of him. Yeah, that's what I think you said before. Like if they just had um, just seen the back, or yeah. there was a scene where I think he's looking out the window. Yeah, and you see that. the reflection. Yeah, and I think CGI, that would have been alright. Got but, a normal guy and then probably CGI the reflection a bit. Yeah, and then that's fine. But actually putting. He turned around. That and, like, and there's having him. He was in it too long. Yeah, that, <laughs> seeing his face was in it too much. I didn't like that. So, um, yeah, but that, that's probably the only, like, complaint I would say about the CGI. I thought the other effects were cool. Um, the battle sequence? You liked yeah, it? Yeah, it was cool. Um, did anyone have a favourite character then? Mm. Apart from Darth Vader. Darth Vader. <laughs> <laughs> Darth Vader. <laughs> right, that's it. There was no, there wasn't really a chance to connect with the characters. Not really. Mm. Like, um, you know, but that's that's mostly characters are based off of uh, like the, the novels they've done. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I guess you would know them if you, if read, you read that, that but yeah. I haven't. So that's mostly the people that love this this um, this movie. The people that have read all the novels mm. are actually rather be <laughs> actually deep into Star Wars. Mm, like yeah. they they knew the story before it even come out. So mm. they're, and they're the ones that are kind of giving it the hype. But really, and truthfully, there's there's no hype. <laughs> There's no hype around this movie. What about you? Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't think I have You didn't have a. a oh, okay. I mean, I really loved the droid, but it was like. Yeah, the droid was cool. Um, it was a bit weird. It very often had like cool. one liners mm. instead of just having like full conversations and stuff. Yeah. But I thought it was a little bit too human. Yeah. For being a droid, but I don't know. Maybe I'm. I'm, I'm sure people will say, but C3PO, C3PO is human as well. But no, he's not really. Like he's, he's more of a droid. He's yeah. more of a droid. Yeah, this like one, a droid. yeah, yeah this one acted really a bit human. more. Yeah. Um, but I have to disagree with you, Craig. I kind of like Donnie. No, I feel like he just. He was actually out. a really good character. Like he was probably my f- favorite character in the whole in the whole movie. He really was. When he when he takes on the stormtroopers at the first part, love that. When he's um, I think yeah, the first the time he, cool, yeah, yeah, when he first uses that um, crossbow gun that he has, and he sort of he warms up his hand and then sort of looks, listens for where the ship is and shoots shots it down. I thought yeah, that's cool. And then right at the end, when he walks through to the to switch on that, yeah, but he died. Thing. Yeah, but he died. But the force was with him. The force was with him. He is the, the force. force. Was with him. The force was with him. I thought that was cool. I like that. They and I just liked... waited to say something to put on shirts. So. <laughs> <laughs> I liked. I liked him and his friend. I liked the, the two of them together. They were cool. Yeah, I liked the friend as well. Yeah. Um, so yeah, they, they were probably my favourites. And then the robot. The robot. Hey, two SL. Why is Darth Vader not in there? Everyone's Darth Vader, answer should be Darth Vader. Yeah, Darth Vader. Darth Vader's always going to be... Killer the... of the Padawans. <laughs> <laughs> he's always going to be the favourite, but... Yeah. I li- yeah, I liked his scene as well at the end. Even, um, even though I knew what, what was coming, because yeah, you told yeah. me about it. But I thought that was kind of cool. Like, yeah. Weird. <laughs> weird. <laughs> 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 I thought that was cool. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that makes me want to see more of Darth Vader. Because you don't really get to see him do that much. I feel like he needs his own movie now. I feel like he needs <laughs> his own It's kind of too movie. late now, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, so what would you say your favourite Star Wars movie? If you have a Star Wars movie, favourite one? Um, to be honest, I did like the originals, didn't like the prequels, but um, I did like the third one. What's that, Return of the Sith? Was that Return of the, the Sith? Revenge of the Sith. Revenge of the yeah, Sith. Yeah. 
I did actually like that one because that one they had that they had the story down, mm. they had the battles down, like the animation, uh, the CGI and mm. all that weren't too bad. In my opinion, that was kind of like the best one for me because yeah. even though I do like the originals, if you look back and watch them, like the fights obviously are original, but they're a bit like slow paced. Compare mm-hmm. that to the prequels, yeah, yeah, yeah. The they're more fast. Yeah, 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 that's pretty awesome. So and then shot. you get to see uh, how Darth Vader's created, yeah, you know yeah. how the kids are born, yeah. up to Padme and everything. No, that's, 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 that's one of my that's yeah. one of my favorites yeah, as well. Revenge of the Sith definitely yeah. is my favorite. Um, I would say my favourite is probably, it's definitely Revenge of the Sith yeah. and Return of the Jedi. Those two are my favourites. See, my second favourite would be um, a new, uh, Return, of the Je- uh, Return of the Jedi, the third yeah. one. I did like yeah. that one, only because obviously the story, that's where it ends, that's where it really ends, not The Force Awakens. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's that. I guess that's that. That's that. Well, what would you say out of ten then? What would you say, Rogue One? Five. Rogue One out of ten. Five. Five, five out of ten. Five out that of was ten. a confident five. <laughs> five. Even I did. I hate that. One. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give it a six point five. Six point five. Okay, yeah. cool. I'll probably give it a seven. I always give things sevens, don't I? Sevens are nice average. It's an average number. Yeah, yeah. I think. I think. Yeah. It's it's uh, it's a good movie. It's not a. Not it's not a. Movie. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So I give it a seven. If it went on for too long. Worse. Yeah, that yeah, it can't, yeah, yeah. So much worse. it didn't need to be longer. Didn't need to be that long so, longer. Yeah, but yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's good to have a little, a filler between episodes three and four, sort of see what happens, and always having more Darth Vader is a good thing, I think. So yeah, I guess. So yeah. So yeah, thank you for watching. I am Dan, and we'll see you in twenty seventeen. <laughs> Happy New Year. And, uh, for new things. For new things. I am the force. The force is with me. Oh, God. Bye-bye. Please cut it off. Don't do this. Every single time you have to just...